So I've got myself a couple of tilapia here. I mean, I'm using tilapia, but you might want to use a different fish if you want. We're going to fry that and we're going to make a beautiful garlic ginger sauce that's underneath there. Just top that off with some sesame seeds. Beautiful. Welcome back to How To Cook Great. Okay, so I've got two tilapia here. They've been cleaned, meaning they've been descoured. They've been cleaned inside and everything. They're not that big. You can see my hand there, sort of average size. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the head off of both of them, because I can use those for my cats. My cats will eat those. I'll boil them up and the cats will eat them once. You can keep it on if you want. So head off, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score it down there. You know, just cut into the skin, but not all the way down. I'm gonna do that on both sides. So, head is off for the cats. If you don't have a cat, you can make some uh, chicken stock of it if you want, boil it up with some celery, onions, and stuff like that. What I've done, can you see that? I've cut that down thin slices, you know, close together. And what you do is you cut and if you touch the bone, stop. As soon as you get to the bone, the centre bone there, just stop. It opens it out, makes it cook really nicely. So all I'm going to do with these fish at this stage is I'm going to salt them. We're going to put quite a lot of salt on. Don't be shy with your salt. And we're going to rub that in there. And I'm going to do the other side and then we can go to the cooker. Really easy, this one. Really, really easy. If you want, put a little bit of salt on the inside as well. Beautiful. So I've got about two centimetres or so of oil. I'm using a corn oil. You want to use something fairly neutral like corn, canola or sunflower like that. We're heating that up. We're going to take our fish and we're going to drop that in. And like I said, these are not that big. So we're going to cook these for about four minutes on each side. Now, if they get stuck, which they often do, like they'll get stuck there, don't start digging it. Just leave it alone and it will actually naturally release itself. See, at the moment they're stuck, they won't move. But yeah, in, in like a minute or two, they'll actually release themselves. So don't start digging it around your break it. I'll flip them over, yeah, about four minutes a side. So that one's released itself, and that one hasn't yet, but it will. Okay, off goes the heat, and these are done, they're really beautiful. Out they come, set them aside, and what you've got now is some beautiful fried fish. If you want, eat it just like that. But we're going to get some lovely flavours happening. Okay, so what we've got here is equal parts, roughly. These are like a cup each of green onions, sliced red onions and tomatoes. There's actually two regular sized tomatoes there cut. Three teaspoons of fish sauce. Four teaspoons of soy sauce. I'm using a dark soy. A tablespoon. It's actually a heap tablespoon of garlic and roughly the same amount of ginger, which I've cut into thin strips. Really, really simple. Let's get back to the cooker. Okay, so I've got a little wok here with some oil in. Now I've got some more corn oil. If you wanted, you could use the fish oil, but I actually threw it out. So I've got some fresh oil in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our ginger and we're gonna chop all that in. Now we're on an above medium heat. And I want to just go for like 90 seconds just with the ginger. Okay, that's really going to infuse that oil. Next up, we're going to go in with our garlic. And our one cup of onion. And keep it moving now, and I'll be back in three minutes. Now to that, we're gonna add a couple of tomatoes. Try and use a nice ripe, juicy tomato. I'm gonna add some black pepper, but I'm not gonna add any salt because remember we put the salt on the fish and we've also got soy 
and fish sauce, which are both very salty, especially the fish sauce. Okay, four to five minutes. Really want to cook those tomatoes down. Again, keep it moving. See you then. Those tomatoes have broken down really nicely. Still got some crunchy ginger in there. What we're going to do now is add a couple of teaspoons or so of fish sauce, which is very salty. The soy, I'm using a dark soy. Let's get this up to maximum heat now. We're going to drop in those green onions, a cup of green onions. And we're going to go just for 90 seconds, really high heat, then we're done. And that's it. So what I've done is I've put the sauce that we just made on the bottom. I've got our fish on the top, a little bit of sesame seeds, job done. Really, really easy and super delicious. I hope you enjoy that. Keep safe, keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Hi, how you doing? Thanks so much for checking out our videos. Really, really do appreciate it. We're busy as ever. We're pumping out and pumping out some fantastic food. Well, we think it's fantastic. So Chef June's got his own channel now. Please check that out. He's doing great guns on there, all in Togalo, some fantastic food he's making. Rahel's doing her Armaric channel, which has been going on for some years now, and she's doing great. But please check it out if you want to know about Ethiopian food, although it is all in Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia. Uh, the vegan channel's doing okay. Could do with a bit of help, actually. So pop over there and uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We're doing fine. We're still here in Bahrain at the moment. It's very hot, as you could imagine. But yeah, happy as can be. Now, if you'd like to help the channel out, uh, you could uh, buy us a coffee or there's a little link will pop up now maybe or something will pop up or something. But yeah, if you want to support the channel, that would help us out a great deal. Really, really appreciate all of you send messages and follow us you know, on a regular basis. We love you all. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. Mm -hmm.